Well, we did, we took our famous W170 and we modified it specifically for silage application. So we took the same engine, but yeah. we increased the power by 30%. So we are going from 195 to 255 horsepower. Right. And even more important is the torque, because the torque is what drives you up the clamp. Absolutely, yeah. And that's why we increased the torque by 37%. So one, one eight, 950 to 1,300 massive Newton meter of torque. It's the top of the bare benchmark in this class. Right, there you go. So you've got more power, uh, more torque. Have you had to do anything to the drive lines to yeah. handle that? Yeah, we added a, sec a six gear. So we now change to the mo latest ZF gearbox with six gears and with a torque converter lockup from the first gear on. So right, so can, straight away. Straight away, you can drive fully mechanical to save fuel and be mass, uh, massive efficiency and to, to, to drive up the hill as fast as possible, as efficient as possible. Yeah. And that you don't have to stop during the day. We increase the fuel tank. So coming from 250, we are going now to 400 liter of diesel yeah. to cover a full shift all day long, working, no problem. Right. And around the rear of the machine, have you stopped, I mean, it's been a long, long time since I drove a New Holland wheeled loader. Uh, you can I change that. You are, you change that. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. Um, you used to have a big cube area, cooling area, yeah. and you have the engine at the back. Yeah. Is that still the same on this? It's still the same, and it, it's a really big advantage for the silage clamp. So the engine is in the rear, and it's deep inside the frame. Mm. So it's the, the center of gravity is really, really low. Yeah. And as the uh, air cooler is between the engine and the cab, the cab is really quiet, and we have five radiators which don't cover each other. So it's a, like you said, it's a cube cooling. All right. Five radiators without covering each other, so the best fuel uh, cooling efficiency, and the reverse fan in standard. Right. So all the radiators, it's effectively just a single layer yeah. wrapped around this cube. Cool. So we've got lots more engine performance and drive train performance. Have you done anything to hydraulic performance or lifting performance? We always have the long reach in standard, but um, there will be the standard uh, Z bar as an option. And we also increase the comfort for the driver. So we have a new air seat, uh, which is not only heated, it's also ventilated. Yeah. And it's leather coated and has a high wrist so that you really sit there comfortably. We always have since uh, uh, some years the joystick steering, so you can sit straight up, one arm for the loader arm and the other just for steering. So you can have relaxing days in the quiet cab with lots of space.